crisscross is about midpoint through your head, both of them crisscross, and they share fibers one to the next. And then the, the nerve fibers go back along the sides where your temple is, and then your sight centers are actually back here. This part of your brain back here where the bump is on the back of your head, from that point up to about midpoint there, that's where your sight centers are on either side. That's the part of your brain called your occipital lobes where you see. That's where you interpret what you, what's coming in from a light impulse out here. And that's how you interpret what you see. Okay. The purpose of an eyeball is to take the light coming in, flex 75%, 25%, focus it on the retina, so this part of your brain can see. 40% of all the nerve fibers that go to and from your brain control your eyeballs. Isn't that amazing? 40%. The other 60% here. Everything else. Everything else is controlled by the other 60%. Now, the next thing, I don't understand why it works this way, but this is the way it is, okay? When light comes in, the image that you see out here, if it's bent perfectly by this cornea and lens, gets flipped upside down and backwards. And it focuses upside down and backwards as it hits the back of your eyeball. And if it hits your retina perfectly, like it's supposed to, you see perfectly, and you don't need to stay for the rest of this presentation because you have great vision and we all hate you. Okay? <laughs> Those of us that don't have it all hate you. But most of us don't have that situation. Most of us have an eye that's too long or too squatty short, and it's got the front doesn't isn't round. It's got it looks like a football cut in half rather than a basketball, and that's called astigmatism. And Dr. Mello is also going to address that later. Okay? If you're nearsighted, basically myopia or nearsightedness. You can do what it is. In other words, if we call you nearsighted, it means somewhere within arm's reach you can see the lines in your hand. Okay? That's being nearsighted. If you're farsighted, you're the people that can see forever when you're a kid. But sometime in your late 30s, early 40s, you start playing the trombone before everybody else. Okay? And then it eventually creeps into your distance, too, so the freeway signs don't look as good as they used to. Okay? But nearsighted people, what happens about the time you hit puberty, when you get gawky, you get zits, everything else goes wrong. Your eyeballs get a little longer than normal and you go blind. You basically can't see anymore without doing this all the time, which makes it even worse. And it doesn't take much elongation of those eyeballs to make you very, very nearsighted. Just as much as a quarter of an inch will make you so nearsighted, you can't tell whether this young lady is a young lady or a young man from this distance. Okay, that's how, nearsight that's how much it is.